US Pentagon has debuted its new stealth bomber, the B-21 Raider. The B-21 Raider is being called the most advanced military aircraft ever built. B-21 Raider. B-21 Raider. B-21 Raider. Every time and everywhere. That's what America does. The landscape of strategic air power is transforming rapidly. In secure hangars and along protected runways, the U.S. Air Force's most advanced bomber begins to realize its operational future. The B-21 Raider, once mainly viewed as the newest element of the U.S. nuclear triad and a stealth strike aircraft, is now positioned for a broader, more flexible role. Originally imagined as a hidden, deep, penetrating asset, the B-21 is being considered for expanded operations, prompting a realignment of expectations about what constitutes power in modern skies. With the recent unveiling of a second B-21 Raider and new details surfacing about its capabilities, discussions across defense communities have intensified. Can the world's latest strategic bomber be more than a long-range strike platform? Now, the Air Force is exploring concepts in which the B-21 supports air superiority operations, not only through its traditional payload, but potentially by collaborating with other advanced aircraft and fulfilling roles in dynamic, heavily contested airspace. This emerging vision is not driven by speculation, but by necessity. To maintain operational relevance against advanced adversaries, the B-21 is being developed with mission profiles that extend beyond traditional bombing missions. Air Force officials are studying roles for the B-21 as a stealth magazine, a carrier for air-to-air -air and standoff missiles, able to augment the combat persistence and flexibility of contemporary fighter fleets. Behind this evolution is a strategic imperative to ensure the U.S. maintains a credible and adaptable deterrent even as adversaries advance their air defenses and fighter technologies. This approach includes re-examining not only aircraft roles, but also the air crews and their interaction with emerging technologies, preparing both machine and operator for the complexities of 21st century air combat. As the U.S. moves to operationalize this next-generation platform, Questions arise about the implications for doctrine, deterrence, and future aerial engagements. The Air Force's choices will carry strategic consequence, influencing both allies and competitors for years to come. Let us now delve into these developments, examining the B-21's transformation and the Air Force's vision for its future role, and consider what such a shift may mean for the evolving landscape of aerial operations. The B-21 Legacy of stealth, engineered for tomorrow. The lineage of American bombers is marked by a capacity for adaptation and technological risk-taking. From the high-flying B-17 to the swing-wing B-1 Lancer, each bomber generation reflects changing operational needs and inventive design responses. The B-21 Raider stands at the intersection of heritage and innovation. Conceived to eventually replace the B-2 Spirit and B-1B Lancer, the B-21's core strength is its versatility. Designed from inception as a dual-capable, deep-penetrating stealth bomber, it will be able to deliver both conventional and nuclear munitions while surviving in the world's most challenging air defense environments. Every facet of the B-21, its flying wing configuration, precisely angled surfaces, and radar attenuating materials, is dedicated to defeating detection and increasing survivability. But more than stealth, the foundational leap comes from its open systems architecture. This digital backbone means the B-21 can rapidly incorporate new hardware and software, ranging from sensors to data links, allowing the aircraft to evolve with relative ease. This philosophy stands in sharp contrast to the legacy bombers it will replace. Where previous designs locked in technologies for decades, the B-21's modular approach ensures that advances in munitions, targeting, electronic warfare and communications can be integrated as soon as they are validated. The Air Force's commitment to at least 100 Raiders, the largest planned stealth bomber by, signals an intent to sustain and adapt the fleet well into mid-century. Development on the B-21 is progressing methodically. The second pre-production airframe is expected to fly soon, 
reflecting steady movement from prototype to operational capability. While details of its precise performance remain classified, the overarching objective is clear. A bomber that retains relevance across changing threats through agility and continuous upgrade. The B-21 is thus more than a successor. It is a thoroughly modern platform, engineered for the uncertainties of future warfare, designed to outpace technological surprise and operational demand alike. Beyond the bomber, the B-21 as force multiplier. Modern conflicts, characterized by complex and overlapping defensive systems, demand new operational approaches. The dual imperatives of air dominance and strike efficiency have led the Air Force to develop concepts in which the B-21 supplements traditional fighters, not only through its strike capacity, but by serving as a flexible airborne arsenal. This concept positions the B-21 as a partner with advanced fighters like the F-22 and F-35. In possible future operations, those fighters, limited by their onboard missile loads, could rely on a stealth bomber positioned nearby, stocked with additional air-to-air -air and standoff munitions. This role as a flying magazine would allow fighters to remain at the forefront of air engagements, resupplying their weapons in theater rather than returning to base. Such an approach shifts the logistics of aerial warfare, open possibilities for extended operations, and forces adversaries to reconsider the balance of combat power in contested airspace. The ability to integrate the B-21's stealth and payload with the agility and situational awareness of frontline fighters gives commanders new options for responding to evolving threats. Moreover, advances in connectivity and data fusion mean that information about threats, targets, and friendly positions can be shared seamlessly between aircraft. The B-21's systems, designed for rapid upgrade, are expected to enable this high level of integration, supporting not just strike missions, but collaborative engagement and shared situational awareness. While speculative assertions about the B-21 engaging directly in dogfights should be treated cautiously, the logic of multifunctional employment is grounded in emerging Air Force doctrine. By providing ammunition, electronic support, and extended reach, the B-21 becomes a key node in the networked air battles of the future. Turning a bomber into a true force multiplier depends, however, not just on hardware, but also on the people in the cockpit and the operational concepts they implement. Redefining the crew, a new approach to bomber operations. Core to the B-21's evolution is a fundamental reconsideration of its crew configuration. In contrast to earlier bombers, which often carried crews of four or more, the B-21 employs a streamlined team of two, a pilot and a weapon systems officer. This arrangement matches the digital sophistication of the platform, leveraging advancements in automation and crew workload management. Reducing the crew serves operational and survivability objectives. A smaller cockpit reduces the overall size and radar signature of the aircraft. Meanwhile, advances in electronics and interface design delegate many former crew responsibilities, such as navigation, electronic warfare, and defensive systems, to digital assistance and integrated displays. Both aircrew are supported by advanced computing that consolidates mission data, highlights threats, and automates routine tasks. This division of labor empowers the crew to focus on complex mission management and rapid decision-making. The pilot and WSO act as co-tacticians, able to interpret vast streams of information, respond to unfolding threats, and direct the aircraft's systems in real time. In scenarios where the B-21 operates as a standoff arsenal for fighters, the crew's responsibility would expand to coordinating resupply or launching standoff munitions to support a dynamic air battle. It remains to be seen how these changes will play out in operational use especially in highly contested environments. The reduction in crew presents both advantages and new challenges, placing increased reliance on human-machine teaming and advanced autonomy. As the B-21 matures, future variants could explore forms of integration with unmanned systems, with the crew directing collaborative drones in offensive and defensive roles. This progression builds on the foundational work of shrinking, digitizing, and empowering the bomber crew and signals a path toward even greater flexibility in future air campaigns. Stealth and survivability, adapting to the modern threat. 
While stealth remains the B-21's defining feature, survivability now encompasses a range of offensive and defensive capabilities. The latest efforts in radar cross-section reduction, materials engineering, and electronic countermeasures are designed to ensure that the B-21 can penetrate and survive in denied environments. Stealth is foundational, but it is not the only defense. The B-21's architecture supports the integration of electronic warfare suites, advanced sensors, and real-time networked communications. These tools combine the benefits of remaining undetected with active measures for jamming, spoofing, and thwarting incoming threats. In contemporary air campaigns, survivability has come to mean agility as much as invisibility. The B-21's integration with distributed networks, receiving and sharing data across a fleet of aircraft, gives it the ability to respond to threats dynamically, rerouting or adapting its tactics in response to changing enemy dispositions. Should traditional stealth ever be compromised, either through advances in exotic sensors or the emergence of new tracking methods, the B-21 is architected to adapt. Its open design allows for rapid upgrades to both hard and software defenses, making it possible to introduce new counter-surveillance tools or defensive munitions as needed. Ultimately, these layers of survivability position the B-21 not merely as a shadowy penetrator, but as a platform able to contribute to the broader contest for information, maneuver, and decision advantage in the most contested air domains. Upgrading for tomorrow. Open architecture and rapid adaptation. The B-21's most vital feature for long-term relevance may be its commitment to open systems architecture. Rather than a fixed suite of capabilities at launch, the B-21 is intentionally designed for plug-and-play upgrades. This allows the Air Force and its industry partners to iterate improvements quickly, helping the fleet keep pace with new threats and opportunities. Major subsystems, from avionics to electronic defenses, are built with standardized interfaces, making the introduction of new components straightforward. Software upgrades can be pushed across the fleet to add new features or patch vulnerabilities without the need for lengthy depot maintenance. This responsiveness is essential for an era defined by swift advances in sensors, artificial intelligence, and electronic warfare. The ability to integrate directed energy weapons, improved communication links, or even quantum secure networking as those technologies mature ensures that the B-21 will not be outrun by adversary innovation. Moreover, the architecture supports coalition integration. Allied partners may, where approved, introduce their own communications or data sharing tools for combined operations. In global scenarios that demand rapid, multinational responses, this flexibility is a significant strategic advantage. The implication is clear. The B-21 is conceived not as a once-in-a-generation airframe, but as a living component of the Air Force's ability to adapt. Each new deployment, test, or exercise provides data for continuous improvement, shortening the time from operational challenge to solution. Strategic Impact Air Force Transition and Policy Implications The arrival of the B-21 radar initiates more than just a hardware replacement cycle. It marks a strategic shift in the Air Force's approach to long-range strike, deterrence, and organizational flexibility. With its anticipated induction, the Air Force is preparing for a gradual transition away from older platforms like the B-2 Spirit and the B-1 Lancer. This modernization closes a historical chapter but opens new possibilities. The scale of the B-21 by at least 100 aircraft planned, aligns with a vision of regular, persistent presence in the world's most demanding theaters, not mere symbolic operations. This expanded presence supports a broader role for bombers in both conventional and nuclear missions. The B-21's ability to seamlessly move between mission types, deep strike, standoff support, electronic warfare, is central to future force design. The aircraft's open architecture and digital sophistication facilitate ongoing integration with other Air Force and Joint Service assets, contributing to a more distributed, resilient posture. Policymakers face new challenges amid these developments. The fusion of nuclear-capable and conventional roles in a single fleet demands careful management of escalation risks and operational transparency. 
The B-21's flexible employment model will require thoughtful doctrine to maintain credible deterrence while extending support to day-to-day -day operations. For competitors, the unpredictable potential of the B-21 complicates planning and increases uncertainty. For allies, it offers reassurance that U.S. long-range power projection remains modern and adaptable. The full effects of these shifts will emerge over time as the operational concept evolves in response to changing global conditions. The B-21 signifies a capability leap not only through technical innovation, but through organizational and doctrinal reinvention. Looking ahead, the B-21 and the future of air power. Change in military aviation seldom proceeds quietly, and the B-21 Raider's emergence is no exception. As the second pre-production Raider prepares for flight and new mission parameters are explored, the Air Force is actively shaping the contours of future air conflict. The B-21 now stands as the nucleus of a new era. Independently, it serves as a deep, penetrating strike platform. As an integral part of a larger network, it amplifies the capabilities of stealth fighters, integrates with unmanned systems, and provides persistent, survivable presence in potential conflict zones. The implications of reduced crew size, open system upgrades, and expanded mission sets will be tested as operational experience accumulates. The measure of the Raider's success will derive from how effectively it can balance legacy missions with adaptive roles, supporting both deterrence and flexible response day in and day out. Crucially, the B-21 exemplifies the Air Force's intent to thrive in an unpredictable world. By pairing physical stealth with digital adaptability and crew focus with a networked ecosystem, the Raider represents more than a technological achievement. It is a strategic instrument designed for change. As the Air Force continues to integrate the B-21 into its force structure, the world will closely watch its deployment, employment, and ongoing evolution. Whether it ultimately redefines air combat or stands as a robust, adaptable air to past bombers, its story is only at its beginning. A tangible commitment to meeting the future, not with static answers, but with readiness for whatever comes next.